watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We've got a vlog today. I'm actually filming this after I filmed my vlog because I realized I didn't properly introduce the video to you guys so I thought I would jump on here say hello how are we all how's everybody doing I had a really fun filled weekend with my family we went down to the Harry Potter studio tour went to watch some football and vlogged it all for you so I've got a few clips of that which I will include and then I'm going to bring you back to current day in this moment because I came back home after our little weekend away to some Amazon deliveries so I thought I would sit down and share them with you with a little bit of an Amazon haul. I will just say as well before going into the vlog section of this video, I will leave my Amazon storefront linked in the description box below if you wanna shop any of these items, any of my favorites. I'll link them all in there anyway, but yeah, I do have that Amazon storefront if you, if ever you want to see some of my favorites on Amazon, they are all linked on there for you. So yeah, without further ado, make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink, get comfy, put your feet up, relax. Enjoy today's vlog, and I'll see you guys in a bit to share with you those Amazon purchases. Good morning. We have a very exciting weekend planned, so I thought I would just pick up my vlogging camera and see where we go over there. Um, we're actually heading down to Watford with my family to watch some football today. Today is Saturday. We're going to watch Watford um, play Rotherham, I think it is. Anyway, and then we're going to stop overnight in Watford and then go to the Harry Potter studio tour the day after. So very exciting. Um, we're up bright and early this morning. I showered and washed my hair last night. Um, I've just cleaned my teeth and cleansed my face. I use the CeraVe blemish control cleanser. Really good actually. I keep it in my shower as well because, let me show you, this is what it looks like. I've seen online that because of the formula of it, you can use it wherever really, even though it's for blemish prone skin, like on your face. But if you tend to get like, um, you know, sometimes you can get like a build up of like little tiny little lumpy spot things on the back of your arms, on your like legs and bum, on your chest. Um, so yeah, you can use it wherever, at least I do. Uh, but yeah, I used that this morning and then, <clears throat> I'm gonna put on some SPF. I'm using this from La Roche Posay, 50 plus. So I'm gonna pop this on and then I'm going to, like a really liquidy formula. It goes on quite light, which I like. I don't like the idea of having something kind of sticky on my face, especially like as a primer to makeup. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna use for today. I'm also gonna be taking in my toiletry bag. I got this one from Amazon. It's like a travel bag, but it's just a perfect size. I'll link it below. Perfect size for all my toiletries. Just remembered, oh no, it's here. Dry shampoo. I always like to take your dry shampoo with me. This Living Proof Perfect Day, a perfect hair day dry shampoo is a good size. So I'll put that one in. Some deodorant, missing the water. I'm removing my makeup tonight with some cleansing pads. Uh, contact lenses, moisturiser, and then two brush and toothpaste. And I've already cleaned my teeth, so they can go straight in. I need to curl my hair still, put on some makeup. Then we're going to get on the road. Sorry if it's a bit echoey in here, by the way. I'm in my bathroom. Um, get on the road, drop by off at daycare. He stops overnight at his daycare, which is nice because they know him. He knows them. There's no kennels or anything. They just sleep on the sofa. They have a staff member sleep with them there as well. So I know he's in good hands. I need to pack up his food, take him, drop him off. And then we've got the nice long three hour journey, three hour journey down to Watford. This one's ready for a walk, except you ain't getting one this morning. You're going to doggy daycare. <laughs> Do you want to go to doggy daycare? <laughs> go cuddle daddy whilst mummy gets ready. Let's do a quick. Good vibes, good life, Vex King. Okay, when they do the weekends, they do it um, joint so that there's like 
both Saturday and Sunday. A great manifestation trick is asking yourself, how did I? And then insert your goal as if it's already achieved. I'm so grateful I got it so easily. For example, how did I get a job promotion already? I'm so grateful I got it so easily. There you go. That's today's little affirmation. Thank you. <laughs> okay, enough now, Barney. I've got to do a makeup. I would just show you what I'm wearing today. Seeing as though we are going up to the football, we need to wrap up warm. It's forecast to be about zero degrees. So um, we are having food in the restaurant beforehand, so I don't want to be too hot in the restaurant. So I'm just going to wear a blazer, t-shirt, leggings, and then I'm going to travel down in my Anembing trainers, driving them. But for the football, I'm going to put on these boots, which I got from Farfetch. They're from a brand called Ash, and they're just a nice, chunky, suede, kind of khaki, olive type colour, but like really, really dark. So that is what I'm wearing for the football. And then I've got my new Burberry scarf as well, just again for extra warmth when they are, when we're watching the game. And then what I'm going to do is this Abercrombie jumper. Again, as that extra layer for when we're sat outside, but to go in, I'll just probably, oops. I'll just probably throw it over my shoulders or something just to go in, because I don't want to, like I say, be too hot in the restaurant and not feel the benefit when I get out to the football. And then I do have this coat from Next, which is like really weighty. I've not actually worn it yet. Um, but because it's so weighty and it's got wool in it, I feel like it's going to be nice and toasty. So this will be my extra layered outfit of the day today. And then for tomorrow, for Harry Potter, what I'll do is I'll just, so that I don't have to like pack loads, um, I'll just, instead of throwing the Abercrombie jumper over my shoulders, I've got my Anina Bing hoodie, like a grey one, grey hoodie to put underneath. Um, this blazer and just probably leave it like that and wear my trainers again and that is my outfit plural outfits for the weekend anyway we are all set and ready need to get on the road now need to go drop money off i've just curled my hair as well using my ghd curves i'll leave them linked because i get asked quite a lot which colors i use and i know they've got a couple of different ones so yeah we'll leave those linked and oh i'm feeling that nervous energy is tingling um but we'll be fine once we get there once we get socializing and comfortable i'll be fine but yeah i think as well the long drive is like oh i just want to get there three and a half hours <laughs> plus first long drive in the electric car so we're gonna have to factor in a stop as well and charge the car and me and my mind overthinking I'm thinking is there going to be enough spaces are we going to have to wait for a space how long is the wait for the space going to be are we then going to be late <sighs> this is the only thing that was putting me off having an electric car but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine we've arrived at the first stop service station test the supercharger first time ever <laughs> I noticed when we'd set off actually when I that my charging flap was still open this one we're in oh is that it it doesn't say oh here we go Tesla app notification Charging limit set to 80, when it's set to 100. Let's see how long that'll take. Ooh. An hour. Oh, really? But that's to 100. Yeah.
just sealed in there. Check that sealed and then rip it open and seal it in there. No, that is sick. No way. Hang on, it might not be there yet. I've ruined the envelope, sorry. That's what we're going Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Place it back. We'll put the rest on top, we'll give it a quick shuffle. Now, when I do this, your card should jump to the top of the month's page, yeah? Really? I can, I can style this out. We just spin it, turns into you. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, there, there could be two of them, so take that. If I give you a sharpie, can you put your name at the top of the box? Perfect, okay? So you know that's yours, yeah? You know that? Right, don't get your card, you see it on the camera so you can check it later. We're going to come back to yours in a bit, okay? Let's give it a quick shuffle. Can you take out a card, please? Have a look at it. Show everyone. No way. Need it. Sign your name on there, draw a picture, anything you want. It doesn't matter too much if I see it. Cool, okay, do you see that's yours? Yeah. Goes in the deck, you can see it's in the deck. Goes all the way up, we'll give it a quick shuffle. And this time it does actually go to the top, uh, the tech. Now I'm not going to shuffle it, but it really slowly it goes in the deck. A little click, and again that jumps back up. <laughs> Take that, uh, slow that down, you're going to see this really close, it's actually yours, yeah? Tom, was it? Yeah. Goes in the deck, in the centre, you push it in. <laughs> we're going to try that one again, okay? Don't take your eyes off of the deck. Goes in, wait, goes into the deck, into the centre, it's going to vanish. And it's gone, eh? Actually, went for the pocket that time, you see that? Yeah. Right, come on. Oh, yeah, people don't generally like going in. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I oh, Josh, sometimes what happens, the whole deck goes instead oh my of one. Oh <laughs> oh 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 uh, so you got your one, I'll just grab that shot off your back for that. Uh, who else signed the card? You got the dream what yours was? What was yours? Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades. Let's go. Okay, so you have to do the cool way. Sorry? I think it's in your back pocket. In my back pocket? Yeah. I mean, that's. Who cares? You're close. You're close. I'll show you where it is. I've got a light here. Can you hold that? Just light that for me. The catch is just right, what, to get a bottle of James Rowe. Oh little bit like my back no. pocket, inside the sealed bottle. Oh. <laughs> this is a weird souvenir. Oh, that was like, did you win it? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'll give you a card. Go ahead. Is it, is it properly sealed? Yeah. Yeah, that is actually bad. Yeah, it's got a website on there. I do do a lot of weddings, most of my work. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh! We're done. All done at the football. I'm just with Tom and my bro. And the others have got a taxi. Taxi back. We're stopping at the Hilton, which if you are going to Harry Potter, or let me open the front, um, it's only like 10 minutes away, so it's really good. Uh-oh, where's my phone? Oh, look what's just come out in my pocket. We had a magician. Hold on one second. We had a magician. Um, there we go. And uh, Tom took his card. Mine ended up in a J2O bottle. George thinking about booking him for, for the wedding. He was good. Right, we're going to go get checked in. Got my mum's birthday present here. So we are back in the room. Sorry, I'm just blowing my nose. Look, it's a bit red and the toilet's flushing. And that's why. Mm, absolutely cream crackhead. And I thought I'd just quickly show you how I, or what I've brought with me to do my little evening skincare routine. Got a few um, cleansing pads, no, cotton wool pads there. So, I'm going to take off my makeup with a couple of these, some of water, 
I have tried several Mr. Waters and I have to say, I think this one, the Garnier one, is my favourite. They do a few different ones and there's not much in them, but this is the one that I tend to go for. The Sensitive Skin, that's just because that's the one that they usually sell. I start with like, oh god, it just feels so good, doesn't it? At the end of a long day, take off your makeup. That's always the first thing I do. Hair up, as you can tell. Messy bun on top of my head. And makeup off. PJs are on the bed ready to be put on. So yeah, I always start with my eye makeup because I feel like once I get the main bulk of that off, then I do the rest of my face. We had such a lovely day. Obviously, watched the footy. We didn't win. When I say we, we're Watford supporters. I mean, not like my main team is Man United, but we tend to watch and support and it always has been. But we actually used to live near Watford on the outskirts, Bushy Heath, if anyone's local to the area. And when we did live here, my mum actually worked for Watford Football Club. So it was good for her to go back. It's her 60th. That's why we've come down and done this little kind of family trip. Plus it was mine and Liv's birthday. That's kind of like Harry Potter for us tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got planned. Very excited to see Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter studio too, I've heard such, such good things. So I've tried not to get my expectations too high because I don't want to get there and be like, oh, I mean, it's good, but everyone raves about it. I just want to like take everyone's opinion with a pinch of salt and just see it for myself. Keep seeing videos of like people going, oh, Zoe Sugg, she went on her vlogmas episodes, purposefully skipped forward so that it wouldn't spoil anything for me. So I have, no expectations of what it's actually going to be like we've just been told to allow anywhere sort of from three or four hours up to all day if you wanted to but we're in the first session in the morning at 9 a.m so we're going to get there bright and early get up have breakfast at the hotel head over to the studio tour which is only like a 10 minute drive and then get there for the start and then hopefully be back in time to be able to pick Barney up from daycare. I've not bought my cleanser. I'm just gonna give my face a splash. And just use a towel for that. So it's probably gonna be a bit of makeup on this towel, but oh well. Actually, it's not too bad. And then, I've talked about this before on my channel, but I'm gonna use my Skin and Me, which is just like a little twist to dispense the right amount that you meant to have and just pop that on my skin and then you kind of like let that just set for 10 minutes or so so i'm just going to clean my teeth get my pjs on moisturize and call it night coffee pjs these are my um Gilly Hits ones that I got for, um, well, I sort of told myself my Christmas Day PJs, um, and honestly, they're so lovely. Be a soft moisturizer if it wants to focus. There we go. I also did my nails two days ago before we came, and I used the color Tiramisu for two OPI gel polish. I have got a video actually because a few people have asked about, um, oh, I need more moisturizer. I feel like my skin needs it today. You know, some days it just soaks it in. Today's one of those days, plus it feels lovely and refreshing. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've got a video for anyone interested in knowing how I do my DIY at home gel nails, because we all know I'm not a fan of going to the salon. And uh, yeah, I'll leave that below. In fact, if you just type in Freya Beauty Regime, it's like my everyday makeup, my hair care routine, and how I do my DIY at home gel now. Tom is in bed. <laughs> He's ruined his jumper. Put this on not realising, did you? Mm. How did you do that, Mr. Tommy Lord? You ruined it. I ruined it. He managed to put a red band or something, didn't you, in the whitewash? Boxing. Boxing. Oh, go on. What was it? Hand wraps. Just some TikToks. Tom's is all watches and oh let's do that trend. Come on. No, no come on. No, no. Refresh. No, no, refresh. No, no, no. <laughs> refresh. There's a TikTok trend where it's like um 
open your boyfriend's TikTok and see if they can, you can give him like a thousand pounds if you can get through 10 TikToks without an inappropriate girl on it. <laughs> Ginormous. No wonder people say you can spend hours and hours here. Warner Brothers Studio Tour London. Oh, the making of Harry Potter. How exciting! I have actively not watched any vlogs of oh mum and dad are behind us. Um of anything about this. So I have no idea what to expect other than everyone who has been has just said it's been amazing. So yeah, it looks good. Oh, have you seen the cones? What? The cones. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> They're, uh, you know the traffic cards? Yeah. They're wizard's hats. Oh yeah! You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Some colourful chaos during the OWL exam. No, it's like it's sweet. Yeah, it's like Iron Brew. They do um they do an ice cream, which would be quite nice, I reckon. It is sweet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Driving. Where are you going? Um, Where are we going to live with John. Live with somewhere in Hogwarts. <laughs> oh, it's going to be cold. It is the seats are freezing. Who's coming in with me? 
How would that sound? It says the front name. Oh, it's got a shirt. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be a bumpy, bumpy ride. ride. Cheeky to we hear, innit? <laughs> <laughs> We're on the night bus. Can't go upstairs, but imagine sleeping on this. No chance. <laughs> It's cool. Hi. <laughs> I was going for Jean Claude Langer. Oh, sauce. I'm going to close my eyes and go for Darren Dutch Holland. Trying to decide if I could get a chocolate frog. How much are they? $8.95. That feels quite heavy, actually, to be fair. Well, they've got these cute little biscuits and biscuitiers. Maybe for the journey home. Oh, £25. Nice. But yeah, they've got quite a few things like Christmas decorations and all sorts of obviously merch, but I am tempted. It's dark chocolate, is it? Oh, is it dark chocolate? Yeah. That's annoying. George, milk chocolate frog. Now I'm interested. Now I'm interested. Yeah. I wonder if they've got white chocolate as well. No. I wouldn't want one. I think milk's the way to go, but you do get a wizard card. You do get a wizard card. Can we get that? Should we get a chocolate frog then? What are you for going for? Eight. Butterbeer. Yeah, wrap it up with that for Harry. Yeah, I'm getting drunk. Harry? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see bad. which. Well, we're hoping for Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> Who else would you want? Oh, like uh, Harry. Voldem is Voldemort on one? <laughs> uh, what's oh, wrong with you? That'd be a good one. Right. Oh my god, look at the size of it, Tom. <gasps> Grabbing some of this. Uh, Who even is that? Oh. I've got Gildroy Lockhart. Oh, that's a good one. We've got Ignatia Wild. Oh, yeah, no, that's no. that's Malf. Oh, no. I don't know Some who one. that is. Ignatia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you doing okay? We've got an explanation. Who is this? Well, is we this know who this is. This, this person. Gildroy Lockhart. Apparently, it's a witch who, in, who, who created, created blue, blue powder. powder. Oh, there's a bit that of a well known on. witch that created blue yeah, powder. Yeah, we all know her. <laughs> the new one's the yeah, part. take it back for a refund. Try there. Chocolate frog. Oh, it's a big I know, yeah, I don't know how to eat. Where's it? That works really. Nine it pounds. It doesn't matter. I just run. <laughs> oh, it's solid. Yeah. I know, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's really solid. building site. We made it back in time to go and collect Barney so we're actually going to go pick him up. I'm going to get out of these and pop my wellies on, my dewberries and take him for a nice long walk um, wrap up because it's freezing but we've got home to an exciting delivery so I thought I would share it with you. Let me flip you around for a little house update. So this is how the corridor is looking. Obviously our front door is going to go here um, so everything is boarded up and ready to be plastered. Again couple of delays here we're just waiting for as long as possible to be able to potentially get permission for a garage in there which would mean a door here so that's why we're holding off and um, blocking that up but 
Otherwise, everything else is boarded up. And look what has arrived. Our kitchen. Oh my God, there are so many boxes. They're like carcasses. They, they just essentially are ready to just be fit. So yeah, they are taking up quite a bit of space. Oh my God, there's loads. I'm trying to see if I can see one of the island because obviously most of it is white, but the island is a dark green. Here we go, yeah. <gasps> the green, oh my goodness. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a real like muddy, kind of like earthy green as opposed to like a very greeny green. <laughs> Does that make sense? I feel like on camera it's showing a little bit darker than what it is in real life, but otherwise a pretty true representation of the green that our island will be which is so exciting. So yeah, other news, it's obviously a lot more of it is plastered. It is taking a while to dry. They haven't mentioned that. So what we might do is get some heaters in here just to help speed that along so that we can get this all painted with a white mist coat, get the kitchen units installed. I think we have to wait to fit the island until the flooring's down, I believe. Um, but otherwise, it's good to go and obviously you can see all the shelving sections that we've had well you can kind of see them back there they are all um in position and plastered which is very exciting i think they're coming back tomorrow to finish off the ceilings in here so that this entire space will be ready including the pantry in there will be ready to have that mist coat of paint and the units installed. And then once the units are installed, we can have Gemini worktops come back out to measure up with their laser gadget type thing to get the worktops, the quartz worktops that we've chosen to get them all measured for that. And then I think that's two weeks delivery from them taking that measurement to installing it. So yeah, we're not far off guys having a kitchen. I mean, we have a kitchen, but you know what I mean. It is very, very exciting. And then in here, the delivery from earlier on in the week, all of our appliances, our Yuka tap, the AEG dishwashers, microwave oven. What else? There's a, there is a worktop actually, a worktop. A, um, I wonder if it's in here. Is that it? A hob, an induction hob as well to go on the island. Oh, this makes me very happy. Exciting. Tom, you can see the green if you want to have a look. The green. Look how much there is. Look, you can see the green panel here. This is like the plinth. Can you see it? It's like a real like muddy, it's not like a greeny green. It's just, nice. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Because they're standard heritage green, that one that's downstairs. It's from DIY Kitchens, by the way that heritage green that they do as standard is quite like a, I don't know how to describe it, like a greeny green, like a bluey kind of green. I don't know. It's like a greeny green. Do you know what I mean? That heritage green. See what I mean? Like a bluey green. Whereas ours is like more of an olivey, muddy kind of green. Anyway, are we ready to go get Mr. Barney Boo? Oops. We're also having a look at getting some wardrobes done. Hammonds and sharps. Thank you so much. Hi, buddy. Hey, Barney. Oh, do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> do you want to go for a walk? He's like, come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, you stinky pooch. He's doing, oh, it's light down now. I was gonna say he's doing that thing where he's ignoring us again. <laughs> he just stands, stands, sits in the boot and stares out the back window. But we're gonna take him for a bit of a walk um, at a place called Wilmso Cars because if anyone has had a dog that goes to Doggy Daycare, even if it's just for a couple of hours, you will know that that smell, oof, played around with all them other dogs. So um, yeah, we'll see if he'll go for a swim which this walk, he absolutely loves to have a swim. So there's usually always like labs and stuff. And it's a Sunday afternoon, so I'm sure there'll be many doggos for him to play and have a swim with. Gets us our step count in as well, because to be honest with you, a bit of a breakdown of what we thought of that Harry Potter studio tour. It was big, but it wasn't quite as big as I thought it was gonna be. Because um, people have said, you know, you could spend, you probably wanna spend like five, six hours there. We were done in about two and a half to three. 
granted we didn't have to queue because we were the first at booking when we came out that is one tip that i would say if ever you go get the first slot which is nine o'clock because we just were straight in when we came out wasn't the queue bad we were to the point where we were like thank the lord that we um that we were the first booking so that is a huge tip that i would recommend other than that um yeah we, we i mean we were the sort of people that didn't stop and read every single sign so you could spend a lot longer there we just kind of like walked around and immersed ourselves in it learned a little bit here and there and um yeah was that the experience so all in all i think we did about three thousand steps walking around which isn't that much so we thought we'd get out get get our extra step count up for today and maybe treat ourselves with a takeaway tonight nice wholesome sunday to round off the weekend oh, Oh yeah. No, the steak you mean? Yeah. Oh, steak and veg. It was good though. Did we have potatoes with it? Yeah. yeah. Everything from the air fryer. Everything from the air fryer. We're absolutely loving this air fryer. Honestly, it's amazing. Ready? Huh. Who's in? Don't lose it. Get it. Uh, the Amazon bits that I mentioned at the start of this video ready to share them with you I did order some more bits we all know that brand that I absolutely love my Lululemon legging dupes from Amazon I will leave them linked because they're incredible I ordered some more bits from that brand and they haven't arrived yet so hopefully maybe in another vlog or whenever they turn up I will share you share with you some bits that I picked up like just some night workout bits. That's a reminder that I have a call with YouTube in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna speed through these bits, share them with you. And again, everything will be linked in the description box. Oh my God, I have to share with you this first purchase, which is so exciting. I actually bought these before Christmas. So I've had these put to one side and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna include them within this little haul section because I did get them from Amazon. So they are moon boots are ready for our trip to Finland. Apparently averages around minus 11 in middle of February over where we're going. So we fly into Helsinki. Oh, so exciting. What do I do though, guys? Has anyone done like a ski trip or snow trip where they've got moon boots? Do you wear these to the airport? Do you pack them in your bag, which will take up so much space? Do you carry them? What do you do? Because yeah, they are chunky. So yeah, these are the, I think they're like black patent ones, moon boots. You can see the logo on there. They are the comfiest things ever. Already tried them on. I did get, what size did I get? Because they do like different sizing, like more generic sizing they do. So these ones are a UK six to seven and a half and they fit me fine. I'm usually like a six and a half um, or some shoes I get a seven. Um, I got loads of books actually on this occasion. When do I ever not get loads of books? So I got this book from Chloe. It's like one of those books, the catwalk books, which they do like the orange one in Louis Vuitton. They do the black Chanel. I think there's like a blue Prada, YSL, Dior one in gray. But yeah, Chloe have brought out this kind of beige one, which is my favorite color of them all. So I'm excited to style these up. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but the fact that I've got a couple of Chloe pieces as well, I feel like I'll actually enjoy having a flick through that and learning a bit more about the brand. So that's one book that I got. I also got, you may have seen in the, what I got for Christmas video, I got the Colleen Hoover, It Ends With Us book. I'm yet to read it, I'm reading another one currently. Um, but as soon as I finish that one, I'm gonna start these Colleen Hoover books. I might even maybe start them on my Finland trip. Um, but yeah, this is the, is it the prequel? It's the one after It Ends With Us, but I think it's set before, I think. But anyway, I'm excited to read that. And then I also got this. Now this was one of these things that sometimes Amazon do, does like recommended books for you. And this one popped up and I thought, oh yeah, that does look like a bit of me. It's very simple. I mean, it looks like a really nice coffee table book in itself, but it's actually a book that you can fill out and keep organized. It's just like a daily checklist book, which I love a to-do list. And I feel like this is the perfect kind of to-do list book for me. Just nice and simple. 
not dated or anything. And these are kind of like self-help books. When I sort of mentioned my anxiety in my recent, vi recent video about when I was going to the hairdressers and I was talking about it and so many of you guys could relate to me, which is kind of like refreshing in a way that obviously it makes you feel less alone, but quite a few people recommended some books. So I thought I would try them out. This one, and they're kind of like just, you don't have to have anxiety to be able to read these books. They're just self-help, feel good type books, positive mindset, that kind of thing. Solve for happy, engineer your path to joy. And then I also got this one by Dr. Julie Smith. Why has nobody told me this before? Everyday tools for life's ups and downs. It's the Sunday Times number one bestseller. So again, this one was one of those like really recommended books for like good all rounder, general kind of tips and tricks to, you know, sometimes we all get in a bit of a funk, especially I know January for a lot of people, January blues is a real term that affects a lot of people, seasonal changes in the winter months and people tend to struggle with getting that motivation, feel a bit like unmotivated when everyone's setting these new year, new me goals. So yeah, reading books like that, hopefully, um, will open your minds a little bit. Um, but yeah, anyway, I also got, this is actually from that brand that I talked about and I did get one item through the post already. And I have this one already, but in a large and it is too big for me. So I sent it back and replaced it with a medium. Now this one, talking of Lululemon dupes, this is like this sports bra version to go with some leggings that I have the actual Lululemon and the color is identical. Also from Finland, check on time we're good also for finland i've got myself some extremely cute little earmuffs i say little they're absolutely huge these would have come in handy actually for the football that we went to see because it was freezing one more book that i picked up and again this is more of like a coffee table book it's from faye too good and it's called Drawing, material, sculpture, and landscape. It's one of the Faden books. So is that what they call it? Let me get some scissors. I feel like I could give you a bit of a sneak peek into actually what is in the book, but how nice is that binder? I mean, that on display, I just think would be so beautiful. So let's get it open without ruining the cover. <laughs> the first in-depth look at the work of globally celebrated multidisciplinary London-based designer Faye Too Good bit of a snippet into what this book includes. I just absolutely love the aesthetic of this. I also picked up a three pack of these headbands. Again, kind of intending on taking these to uh, Finland with me, but even just winter in the UK, just to keep our ears nice and toasty and warm. I see quite a lot of people wear these headbands and I think they look really cool. So I'm gonna try it out and give it a go. Super affordable, I think it was about five pounds for the pack of three. And obviously gray, white, and black are like the standard colors. So I feel it will um, be the most worn. Okay, I also got myself an Olaplex number four, the purple shampoo that they do. So I always use a purple shampoo. I only tend to wash my hair once a week, once maybe twice a week. And I use purple shampoo every time. I always double shampoo. So. Whatever shampoo and conditioner I'm currently using, I'll use the shampoo first, then I use a purple shampoo as my second shampoo, then condition. But yeah, this one, I've heard great things, so I'm gonna try it out. Got the number three treatment still to use as well. Anyway, Replica is one of my favorite, favorite perfumes that they do, and it's the, this one, by the fireplace. Probably an all-time favorite perfume ever for me. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself to this, because it's a, Kind of like a discovery kit, discovery set of quite a lot of different scents. They just come in these little kind of sample size, perfect for throwing in a handbag or if you're going away for the night, um, rather than taking a massive perfume just to take one of those. And it's got some scents I really wanted to try. So Jazz Club being one of them, Lazy Sunday Morning, there's Under the Lemon Trees, Bubble Bath, Autumn Vibes, Sailing Day, Coffee Break. I wanted to try that one as well. If you remember, I got ages ago now from Zara, they, they did a dupe scent for that Coffee Break. Um, and they did it in a candle and reed diffuser as well. And I remember that reed diffuser. If you don't like coffee, you probably won't like it, but it was really strong. So Zara fragrances for their home, really good. Beach Walk, I actually really have the full size of Beach Walk. And then Springtime in the Park. So yeah, I'm excited to give those a try. Some nice spring summery scents as well. 
And then last but, oh no, not last but not least, two more things. This one is a bit of a wild card. I was speaking to a lady when I was walking Marnie um, and she was saying that, oh, she's got this heated gilet on her. I was like, heated gilet? Who knew that was even a thing? I certainly didn't. But yeah, this is it. Well, actually, I tell a lie, this is not at all what I thought I'd ordered. I thought I'd ordered one of these gilets that has a heated pack in it that you can charge up. Yeah, it does. Okay, so it's got the wire. I know what I've done. I've bought one that you have to sit, literally, and plug it in, I think. Oh, I think I bought the wrong one. Last but not least, I got some new trainers. These are from New Balance. I've had a recent massive clear out of all my shoes and um, just cold everything down. And there was one thing that I was kind of lacking and that's just like a running errands type trainer. Um, so that isn't in a white. I've got like a bright white and a black actually, but I thought I would get the gray. So this one, New Balance, I never really, I think I've got one pair of New Balance trainers, but this one as like a runner style is different to the other ones that I've got. Um, but yeah, I thought they looked quite nice. I think this just with like leggings and a gray hoodie for just again i say running errands but even just like going to the shops if i'm not having like a proper meeting up with people going shopping and lunch and stuff like that but just me just going to the shops i'm always all about the comfort i just want to be comfy walking around them shops so this is kind of a tie that i would wear to the shop so yes got those in a uh seven uk seven so i sized up half a size in those and they fit me perfectly so that is everything that I got from Amazon that I wanted to share with you. I have one minute until my call with YouTube, so I am gonna have to go, but um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed our little fun adventure weekend and enjoyed coming with us. Thank you so much for watching, and I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.